Hello everyone, this is Brian from InfernoDevelopment.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a DLL and how to use that and get a integer from your DLL or send integer to your DLL and first of all you want to make a file, save it using I'm using code blocks which is a free editor for C++ and um, you can make a project for it and then we'll start with include IO stream, which is our C out and C in, and Windows.h, which we will need for loading our DLL, using namespace std, which will get rid of the std colon colon for our C out and C in. And then we are going to define a type using type def with a return value of int a pointer called function message function which is our which is what we will use to label our type and then int parameter what this basically is if you don't understand is it's a function definition without actually having any function and then we have a instance which is a h instance for our dll which will hold our instance when we load our DLL. And we have an int main to start our program. Message function, message box. What this will do is this will create the type message box, which will be our function name, which will have an integer argument and an integer return value, just like our type definition over here. And then message box 0 this will initialize it as 0 just in case so that we won't make any mistakes hence dll equals load library this is a function in windows for us to load our library with we have a dll called inferno development dll and we will check if hints DLL is not empty and then message box our function will call that from the DLL cast it as the same kind as our type definition using get proc address we can get the process from our DLL Alright, and then we have an integer message box, which will be our return value. What we will be doing is this uh, program will load the message box function from our DLL, and then we can now use it, send in a parameter called 5, and the function really is very simple. It's just going to return that 5 that it inputs. So x will have 5 if it's successful. So then we know that we call the function from our DLL. We'll display a message to tell us that it worked. And L is just to put a you know new line. You can also do it this way. I like it that better. Free library. This will prevent any memory leaks that we'll have. So we need to free our DLL before we exit our program. Okay, you can save that, control S. And then also, you may want to check if message box does not equal zero, or maybe equal equal zero. That way, you can display a message in case there's an error. All right, save that. Now you want to create a new project. This will be our DLL actual. Hold on. We'll just do new project. And then in here you see this menu. Click on dynamic link library. Double click. This message box dialog comes up. Just do project title DLL. 
That seems fine. We'll just put it in a folder. Just create a release configuration. We don't need to make it a debug version. All right, we got the, the project, and it actually actually already creates two files for you. On the left side, there is a main.cpp and a main.h under the folders. This is automatically created by code blocks, which we can use. This is what they look like. What you first want to do is in the h file, remove this thing because we don't really need it. We're not going to make a import DLL, which is a lib file, not a DLL file. We're using explicit, so we're using DLL export. So just define that. And then here we're going to change our function to be called message box, exactly like that. And as an integer, it's going to have an integer parameter. And remember, we're going to have an integer return value. And this is just in case if it's C++ or C, so that way it'll work in both. All right, and then save that. Control S, main.cpp. Here, you're gonna have to do the same changes, int. And then this one is called message box. Here is, this is int x. You can also make it a default value. And then, I guess you can have a, we don't really need that A, although it's, either way will work. And here, we're going to return X, because it just returns the parameter. We're not actually using it. And let's just put some text in here. All right. And then, see this, uh, it just displays a uh, icon information, which is uh, just an icon on the message box that looks like a exclamation point or uh, something like that. And then it'll display an OK button using the MB OK. And then the title will be my DLL message, and the text will be join us at Inferno. And then, although I might be wrong about that, and then you have this DLL main, which is the main WinAPI function that'll load. And then it'll go into, it'll grab this using the proc address. So that's all we need to do for the DLL. Now you can um, build the project, control F9. All right, you should see this message. It should say dll.dll created. But it needs to have the same name as the file. So you may want to have to rename it. Like we saved it as a dll project, so it created a dll.dll. But in here, we actually used inferno development.dll. So you'll open up the folder here. It'll be under bin, release right here. We're going to rename this as Inferno Development. Alright, we're taking that. We're going to our launching sequence. We're going to put it in the same folder so that I can find it. Now, you can activate project on the left side for the first program. And you'll compile it again just in case. Alright, it worked. And then you'll go here, you'll try the DLL, and you get the message. Hope that helps, and uh, please subscribe and come join us at infernodevelopment.com and our forums. It's a new forum, so hope you join us. Thank you.